Uh, what's up guys? Today's fast food toy is once again another exciting fast food toy because these are toys from uh, the movie that is going to be shown in the Philippine theaters in the coming days. And after the Beauty and the Beast, uh, there's no other movie that is set to be shown other than the Smurfs. So today's fast food toy is from the movie The Smurfs. And as you can see, we have this amazing box that is made exclusively for the uh, Happy Meal Smurfs movie. Uh, what is that? <laughs> the Lost Village. Okay, Smurfs The Lost Village. This is also uh, a rendition of the Smurfs into computer generated uh, or CG characters. But unlike the previous movies, uh, I think the movie, uh, this particular movie, are quite faithful to the appearances of the Smurfs as they were shown in the cartoons. Uh, as you can see, the Smurf Fed has more a wide-eyed kind of um, cartoony eyes. Unlike the previous one, they have this very sultry eyes that is more anthropomorphic than, the, than cartoons. Okay, and then we have the funny Happy here with a Smurfs hat as well. Also have a Papa Smurf in the box, as you can see. Papa Smurf also has these uh, very cartoony eyes, although they are, like I said, computer generated. And then Comsy Smurf has always been there. Uh, he's always in the picture, so to speak, because of his antiques uh, or uh, some of the clumsy repercussions of his ways. And then there's also a hefty smurf here with this field of, of very colorful flowers with dragonflies and butterflies who I believe were also very prominent characters in the movie which I have yet to see and I am so uh, excited about uh, watching it in big screen. Hopefully uh, I get to see the movie one of these days and so although I have limited budget because it's just two days prior to the payday but I really had to buy one toy because I'm really curious because the previous toys that were uh, given by McDonald's were about the size it's emphasizing more on the characters they're about uh, two inches high. Yeah, I, I think I, I did uh, quite a few reviews about those toys. But this time, instead of uh, emphasizing more on the characters, they're emphasizing on the very famous uh, cottages, the mushroom cottages of the Smurfs. <laughs> and the first one I did buy was <clears throat> the Green Mushroom House. Okay, isn't it great? Uh, look at the details of the mushroom cottage. Uh, there's an attic there apparently and uh, a rooftop. And then uh, although this is only paper and uh, transparent plastic, but the details of the house is very, uh, very, very uncanny to the actual uh, 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 mushroom cottages that we would see in Smurfland. So that's it. And then you can also uh, pull up the top of the uh, mushroom cottage and then to behold, other than the colored exterior, there is also the interior of the house, which is in black and white. So I think the kids can actually, okay, by the children. So this are, is the colored exterior of the house, which you can put in this very <laughs> Tupperware kind of canister. And as you can see, it's very transparent. So once you put the exterior of the house, it seems as if uh, there is a veneer. Uh, oh, it's an actual mushroom cottage. And then, like I said, the interior of the house, on the other hand, is in black and white. Somewhat like a coloring page. So the kids can actually do the colorings of the interiors of the house uh, so as to make it more appealing and so much more exciting for the smurfs to live in okay there's a door there's a curtain a bed and uh, uh what's this a, a dresser and a lot of flowers of course very very staple in a smurf house 
Now, inside the cottage, I was pleasant to, uh, I was pleasantly surprised to find that in the green cottage there is actually a smurfette. This is a miniature smurfette and a little uh, painter smurf or artist smurf in other versions of the smurfs. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of had a little suspicions about the love relationship or romantic relationship between Smurfette and uh, Painter Smurf in several occasions in the television series. But then it, I cannot really delineate it because as we know in the television show Smurfette is the only female and uh, having around a lot of guys who are swooning over her. Uh, she's having a hard time choosing which one uh she should be linked to linked with okay so we have uh, vanity smurf even falling in love with smurfette we have a uh, brainy smurf we have baker smurf who are wooing her in different ways in ways that they are more comfortable with and then also painter smurf i think of all the smurfs who try to you know, uh, try to woo uh, Smurfette. Uh, I think uh, uh, Painter Smurf did the most uh, amazing way of showing his affection towards uh, Smurfette when he created this most amazing masterpiece. Well, he is quite a painter, uh, of course. And then he did a painting of Smurfette, which to my uh, visualization, I think it's more like a interpretation of the Vinci's um, Mona Lisa. So it looks like a, a, a Smurf Mona Lisa. And uh, she dedicated this very uh, amazing masterpiece to Smurfette, just to show how much she cares uh, for her. And then when I think a poet Smurf or some other Smurfs kind of, uh, uh, kind of criticized the painting and said that she doesn't look anything like Smurfette. It kind of pissed off. Once again, uh, Peter Smurf was pissed off because some of them are commenting that she doesn't look like Smurfette. When in fact, uh, in his art and in his uh, own artistic visualization, that uh, Mona Lisa kind of painting of Smurfette is actually Smurfette. And um, uh, yeah, just to show how much uh, uh, he loved Smurf, he loves Smurfette. Now, uh, yeah, Smurfette for a while uh, has fallen in love again and again with different Smurfs because uh, there really are a lot to choose from. A lot of Smurfs are actually <laughs> wooing her. And uh, it's a good thing that in this film, well, we find out that there is not actually just one female character, female character in the Smurf land. We have... Um, new characters new female characters with um, which are being graced by the voices of uh, the likes of julie roberts we have uh what's that um uh, megan trainer who's doing uh, another female character and a host of other actor great voice actors who are uh, voicing a lot of these new female characters so i think i'm keeping my fingers crossed that eventually um, a Smurfette will end up being uh, smitten also with Painter Smurf and the other Smurfs will go for the other females. <laughs> so even if uh, she has fallen in love again and again with the different Smurfs, um, I think in the end she will fall for her one true love and I'm really rooting on this love day. <laughs> And uh, I hope that eventually Smurfette will eventually end up getting married with her destiny, her true uh, better half. And that will be Artie Smurf. And so the, to these two blue little birds, I'm dedicating this song to the both of you. <laughs> so here goes. Dreams come true, and 
Got a friend. 